All right, guys, let's head down to Maria Boro. Good morning guys, or good evening, and welcome to the vlog. Today, Jules thought it would be a good idea to go down to Malioboro Street, the most famous street here in Jakarta. This is Independence Weekend, and so far the traffic was fairly congested, but not terrible. What do you think, Jules? Yeah, not too terrible. We rode our motorcycles yeah. because we were scared it would be. If we rode the car, it would have been bad. Yeah. I <laughs> rode the car. If we took the car. <laughs> but with the motorcycles even, we did get have to get stopped a little bit. Yeah. That's abnormal in Jogja. It's true. Abnormal. Right, we're going to cruise down here, guys, take you guys around, show you around, and uh, see what's happening on Independence Weekend on Moliboro Street. We got the policeman here, so we can't use our magic hand. All right. Okay. Then we say made it across almost. We're going. We got six seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! We made it, Heather. Now what do we do? Wait. Look at the traffic down there. All right. So you kind of got two choices when you're walking down this street, guys. Um, the train tracks are right behind me, so we're walking from the north down to the south. And um, you can walk on either side, really. The side that we're on right now has a lot more shops where they sell things like you know, tourist stuff, t-shirts, bati. And you can get run over by these guys. And these guys. Mm, smoky. But the other side has more open. It's more better for walking. More better. It's better for walking. Because these guys here want to get you. Or you could walk over there on the sidewalk, but it's full of people selling stuff. Yeah, it's fun though. Alrighty. Maybe we should walk over there on the sidewalk and show them that. All right, we're getting off of this sidewalky road thing, and we're moving to the regular sidewalk. I'll show you that. Back. Yeah. See. So they sell lots of souvenirs. There's some brass stuff, t-shirts, batik stuff, like this. Oh, nice flip-flops. You can get your genuine Indonesian, American, Indian dream catcher, probably made in China. It's a lot of nationalities. Yeah, it goes through many hands, and you get some cool jewelry, huh, sir? More jewelry right down there. Ooh, badang. We got a Circle K here if you need a Circle K for anything. And now we finally get to cross the street after maybe around 100 yards or so. <coughs> cross the street and go right back in. All right, so we're starting into another block, and you got a restaurant. You've got more t-shirts and more batik and more inexpensive souvenirs, more batik, more souvenirs, more genuine Native American Indonesian made in China dream catchers, baby, ooh, back scratchers, people buying t-shirts, hotel sandals, KFC, sleeping children, miniature bicycles. All right, we gotta bust out of there. Too many people, too cramped. Yeah. Now we're back with the horses <coughs> and motorized bay chucks. I know, but at least we can breathe. That is true, we can breathe out here. Bay chuck drivers over here. Ooh, we're gonna get to cross the street. Wow, 
do not fall in there guys that would be painful don't step on these nails either yeah. that would be painful too for sure quite a few foreigners down here I guess including us don't fall into this big open hole in the middle of the sidewalk okay I think we need to use our magic hand magic hand magic hand Use other magic hand one good thing about coming down here is that there is this store right here it's a hero supermarket and um, it's one of the better stores in Georgia for finding imported foods like one of the better big stores of course R&B grill they've got the best store probably but um, usually you can find some good stuff in here so that's what we're gonna look at while we're down here anyway check it out and see what we can find but basically i mean overall it's just like a regular indonesian grocery store and they do have this chocolate if you guys come to indonesia you should try mongo chocolate this is a local chocolate brand and they have a bunch of different flavors you can try they've even got some with chili peppers in it but um we're checking it out i want to look at the meat see if we got any bacon whoa johnsonville brats all right guys here's here's an idea of price difference johnsonville garlic brats right one two three six of them right there for ten dollars that seems expensive yeah i think so no bacon well what else do we want to look for over here spam spam oh look what they got here peanuts. a can of peanuts for around five dollars diamond Almond. Almonds. I think these ones are for Thailand though, or from Thailand. Oh, those look good though. Yep. Let's see. Yeah, so these ones right here are from Thailand. A can a week, that's all we ask. Ooh, look what we found. We've got the spam. Although it is a little bit expensive. It's about eight dollars a can. I don't know if it's worth it. What do you guys think? Would you pay eight dollars a can for spam? You guys remember when we did that baby food challenge? This is what the baby food looks like. But at this store, they also have the bottled kind, Heinz. Ooh, they even have organic. Wow. Tender beef with vegetable mash. It's Heinz. Yeah. Vanilla, custard, apple, mango, pumpkin, potato, and beef. <laughs> I think this is regular stuff like from America, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This one has... In oh, this is from Australia. In case you need it, this one has soft lumps. <laughs> soft lumps. <laughs> I don't know how that sounds. I wonder what's under here. Why do they cover that up? Maybe because there's a lump under there. No, a, there's a sign. Mm. Let's check it out. Peel it off. No, what? that feels wrong. So on the baby food, they put stickers over the age, right? So this is from eight months old. Dad. But they put stickers to cover them up. Or through the yellow yeah, ones. Yeah, you can see through the yellow ones. Oh yeah, six. that's from six months. Huh. I don't know what that was with wonder why they covered them up. I don't know. That's Maybe Indonesian babies are different. All right, guys. We did some grocery shopping. We did some walking. Got out of the house, cruised around, and now we're walking north on the east side of Maliboro and uh, the sidewalk's a lot bigger it's a lot nicer to walk on this side than over on that side and right now what we're looking for is cotton candy all right guys cotton candy was delicious pretty sticky though but we did find a place to wash hands over there so that was cool guys I hope that um, you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe hit that like button and we will see you tomorrow so we'll have a really great day and keep smiling